visible difference. So I hope you give it a try. Well, I'm so glad you're watching HSN and keep shopping for um, that monthly special from Andrew Lesman. We are in the kitchen and we have some amazing products that I'm going to give you a peek at some of them. And by the way, I have a extra special item in this hour that we actually just decided to do a full presentation. It's the multi cooker. So when you think of multi cooker, you think of, oh, is it like a, it can make rice and that's also like a pressure cooker. Uh, this really puts the multi in the multi cooker because you can use this as a steam oven, a slow cooker, a food warmer, a, um, a roaster. I mean, it is a you know, saucepan, stock pot, Dutch oven, roasting pan, bread maker. What? <laughs> I mean, this really does it all. So it, we've got, you know, We've got all the amazing features coming in for this amazing uh, pro multi-cooker, and it's on a sale price. It is free shipping and handling because it is $75 or more. So if you get this cooker, then everything you buy will be free shipping and handling at $129.99. Item number 820216. So we are going to be doing a full presentation. So we're going to jump right in to our first item. Right, Pat? Or Okay. So we're going to jump in to our first item, which is a a food and drink mixer. This is from Ninja, 450 watts of power. And I know my good friend Shannon Smith, who does tons of amazing videos on social, is this is like one of her all time favorite products in the world. You get a recipe maker and you think about, well, what would I use this for to make? Really pretty much everything. Everything from a sauce to, you know, guacamole to, you know, fish dip to, to you know, you name it, um, you know, fancy margaritas and daiquiris. You can make all of it. And what I really love about this is it doesn't take a huge footprint on your countertop. And it is definitely countertop space worthy because you'll use it over and over and over again. I have lots of great colors. So I have it in black, I have it in gray, and I've got it in uh, cinnamon, and then also red, navy, and then this one is called turquoise. So these are the colors that we have. And by the way, the cinnamon, the red are, I know, very close. I think the cinnamon is just a little darker, right? That's yeah. the difference. So Rochelle Lucas is our special guest. Hi. And I know that you've got a <laughs> lot. I'll just be sitting here watching I'm, and snacking. I'm prepared to make you some mixed drinks and some snacks today. So, so. Sounds perfect. <laughs> perfect day at work. The Ninja Storm was one of the very first products that Ninja came out with. And it's been around so long because everybody loves it. It's got that small footprint. It does a lot of things. I think a lot of people think of blenders for doing their smoothies and their mixed drinks, which we're gonna do, but it's also an amazing food processor. So I can't wait to show you its capabilities for that as well. But let me show you, before I put the ice in here, this is the stacked blade system. So this is what Ninja is known for, uh, is the stacked blades. And so that's going to really crush through anything that you put in here. And to show you, I'm gonna add some ice. Now, I know a lot of our friends up north are, are tired of the snow. Um, <laughs> I happen to love making uh, crushed ice for margaritas, which we're gonna do next. But I'm just gonna do the ice to start. This is how easy it is to use. It's the, just one button at the top here, and I am just using two fingers, and you can hear that ice get smaller and smaller as I press it. That is how quickly you can turn ice into something that it's <laughs> snow, it's snow, yeah. and it's super finely uh, chopped. So you, you know, I mean, of course, you could use this, you know, for your shrimp cocktail or for some other things. But I personally love to use it for, you know, for my smoothies, for my mixed drinks, for my Friday night cocktail, um, for chopping carrots and onions, which I'll show or you. Coffee so. drinks that are so coffee expensive. Drinks. <gasps> They're and like they're seven so, or eight dollars now. I right, know. <laughs> I like making those at home because you can really um, control it. Yeah, you know, absolutely. like they add a ton of calories that you don't need to add. Absolutely, and then you can control the uh, ingredients too. So you can use oat milk or, or yeah, almond milk or exactly. coconut milk, and it's cheaper if you're doing it at home. But also for cocktails, I did promise you I was going to make you a cocktail. So I've added some more ice back in. Now I'm going to add some margarita mix. Pop the lid back on. The lid does have a pour spout on it too, so you can just you know mix some drinks up for your friends and, and have it ready to serve in the same pitcher. But again, this is how easy it is to use. It's chopping that ice and blending all at the same time. 
and it's restaurant quality style. It's that super finely ground ice that is just what you would normally get at a restaurant and you spend a lot of money for. You can use the pour spout or you can take it off. I'm just gonna move this little umbrella here so I can pour my margarita right into the glass. Um, but yeah, it's a great way to save money. It's a great way to save time. And I gotta be honest, you know, I have a, I have a couple of Ninja blenders at home since, we, uh, since I work with Ninja. Um, this one's my favorite. This is the one I use all the time. And it's been a while since we've had it on air. Last time I think we only had it in the black or the yeah the black and the cinnamon yeah um, i haven't so, presented this in a long yeah, time so yeah so last time we had all these colors i actually bought a few for myself to keep as gifts because they're great gift items right um you know you just pick someone's favorite color and you have it on hand and it's a really fun you know gift for the spring or the summer so here is a margarita for you oh wow jeez <laughs> i guess i have to call a cab to get home from work now i'll, I'll feed you too i'll feed you too so <laughs> okay so in addition to um you know to doing your mixed drinks and your smoothies everybody of course mm. loves to do their smoothies in the morning or their coffee drinks <clears throat> it's amazing for food prep so before i chop all these up i want you to see look at how many carrots are in here so and i have pretty good knife skills i couldn't chop this many carrots in the amount of seconds this is going to take me to do it's five cups so you've got that capacity to do them for like your carrot cake or, or something like that this is how easy it is to chop all those carrots all at once and all I'm doing is using just my two fingers here on the on this top button and that's how easy I'm able to do my food prep and so Helen I gotta tell you this is my favorite thing to do with onions because onions make me cry yeah <laughs> you know how you, you get uh, you get onions and you start chopping them and then you can't see what you're doing because it you know it kind of you know the yes, gases from the I, onions I do I know Absolutely. exactly how is the cleanup on this cleanup is so easy so you can uh, put the pitcher and the lids into the dishwasher they're dishwasher safe the motor pot I would just wipe down with the damp cloth if you end up getting some food on it. It also comes with a lid. So if you do any food prep and you want to put this in your refrigerator, you can just pop the lid right on, put this in your refrigerator and it's ready to go. So I love that it also comes with a storage lid. And now that I'm holding it up to you, you can see it also has kind of a rubber grip bottom. So it's not going to bounce around on your countertop. It's got a nice little uh, grip when you put it on the counter. So really it's just a fun blender. Like you can't help but like smile when you see it, you know, and you want to, you know, make your mixed drinks or make your coffee drinks in the morning. Let me um, see. The now it comes with this recipe book right 100 recipes this is pretty are in there. i was gonna say this is pretty curry chicken salad mm, that sounds good best blender salsa Bana okay frozen mud frozen slides. Mud slides. <laughs> absolutely i just want you guys to see that this is a pretty thick i mean there's a lot of recipes um here for and and uh, to come Spinach with frittata, it yeah. to do your eggs it's great for whipping oh, up you it know probably your... makes it really fluffy absolutely like eggs, like, yeah because it's yeah, gonna it's smoothies gonna... juices mm -hmm. so it many different whip things the eggs in there at the same yeah. time it will also chop if you put some onions and some Ooh. bell peppers in there it will chop and whip those eggs at the same also, time homemade salad dressing perfect for that well, i mean perfect it's amazing when you buy a bottle of bought salad dressing all the things that they put in it that you're like what that's in there oh, I don't extra need that. sugar extra yeah <laughs> extra salt all of those yes. different things absolutely this was and genius for that when i make my salad dressing too with my storm i'll usually use the little pour spout lid and i'll just pour the oil in as i'm blending it oh. so i can get it the consistency i want so all of the controls in the palm of your hand and this is one of the recipes in the book so this is a chicken salad you can see i've got whole pieces of um, celery in there i've got some leftover chicken some walnuts a little bit of mayonnaise um, you know so i've got all the things to make in my chicken salad in there but instead of pulling out you know my my cutting board to cut the celery and to cut the grapes and to mix it all in, in you know several different bowls I'm doing it all in one pitcher and so it's chopping all of those ingredients and blending it at the same time and it's really easy all the controls in the palm of your hand and so you can make it as chunky as, as you want you can make it as finely ground as you want but look at how easy it was to make this like deli style chicken salad in just a matter of seconds and this is a great way to use you know your leftovers if you have leftover rotisserie chicken or leftover you know oven roast chicken you know to make a nice salad you know for lunch this didn't take any time at all and then I can control the ingredients that are in there when it comes to you know like you said with sugar and salt and those sorts of things also if you have like dexterity issues or my, like eyesight issues you know where uh, with your knife skills are not up to I I think that for me I feel like these this is a safer alternative mm -hmm. because I can't see that great to do ch to chop a lot of stuff so I love that this is super easy and Absolutely. you know you're just pushing this button it doesn't take any like muscle to do it no no it's I could do it with two fingers you know if I wanted to so we chop some carrots we also uh, made this chopped chicken salad with celery and with uh you know other ingredients in that chopped it mix at the same time now i'm gonna make some salsa so let me show you the ingredients that are in here too before i start blending it up but you have all of the control i don't know if you've ever read the back of a salsa jar and uh, again it's added sugar things you can't pronounce everything in here you can pronounce you know we've got our cilantro we've got our onion we've got our jalapeno and our little bit of lime and some tomatoes of course too but look at how easy it is 
just to kind of chop and blend this. And you can make this really super fine if you wanted. You can make it chunky if you wanted. But I'm just pulsing with two fingers just with the top of my hand. And then and you that see is, like what is the consistency You can you see like. the consistency straight through the pitcher. And of course it is five cups. So you can make a whole lot if you're having a party. Or you know it's so easy to use. You know if one, if some people in your party want it spicy, you can make a spicy one. And then if you wanted to do one that was a little less spicy, it's easy just to add more ingredients and do you know a second batch as well. So it's super easy to use. Super convenient super cute to bring out for parties. Um, I just love it. <laughs> I mean, this real, again, we've, we're doing an amazing price of $34 and 99 cents. It's on fi uh, five flex pay today. So we're doing five flex pay and we did roll out a brand new shipping for that. This, this is how the shipping is going to be at HSN from now on. When you spend $75 or more, you get free shipping handling on everything. But suppose you spend less than $75. How much is the shipping and handling on that? Do you have to buy shipping and handling on five things if they're very inexpensive things? The answer is no. We do flat rate shipping up to $75 from purchase on the day of $5.95. So it's really great. And by the way, um, you've got a 30 day return policy too. So if you buy it, get it home, don't love it, you can return it and you have up to 30 days for that. We're showing a video here with everything, including the storage lid. So you just put that lid back on and you put it back in the fridge. Absolutely. I love that they were, that it was, you know, smart enough to come with two lids that you've got the lid to mix it with, but then you also have the lid to store things with. So if you are doing your extra food prep or maybe maybe making your smoothie the night before, you can just pop that lid on and put it in your well, freezer. What are you making? Like So what? I've got two things. I noticed we were short I, on time. I'm like but, confused. What is all this? All right. So so this is yogurt. So oh, I'm doing yogurt. Yeah, yeah. I thought, so, why are you putting sour cream with ah, pineapple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no. You could do sour cream if you were doing like a guacamole or something, but this is Greek yogurt that we put in here with a little bit of pineapple, uh, a little bit of um, orange juice, and then some frozen blueberries too. So this is how easy it is to make your smoothie in the morning. I don't know about you, but before I've had my coffee, I really can't think through a, a, a big recipe. <laughs> yeah. This was really easy to do, really easy to make. You know, and even if you were to, to put more frozen ingredients in here, you can even do like a soft serve ice cream at night if you wanted to do something like that as well. But that is how quick and easy it is to make your smoothie in the morning. Make it nice and healthy. Make sure, look at how wonderful that is, how thick it is. Um, I love that I'm able to save money too, because just like you mentioned with the coffee, uh, smoothie shops are really expensive. It's like $10 oh, for, yeah. you know, a, a smoothie with some Three fruit. smoothies and yeah, you yeah. paid for this. Exactly, exactly, yeah. absolutely. I think if you just use it for those fancy coffee blended drinks, I think it'll pay for itself. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. And I'll give you a tip too. What I like to do is I'll make an extra batch of coffee and then freeze the coffee ice cubes. So it's like coffee on coffee. So oh. you've got coffee ice and coffee. So it's really rich and really delicious. So whenever you add your milks and stuff to it, it doesn't kind of water it down. Oh, that's a great idea. So it's a great tip, especially because it can really, you know, power through ice, like I showed you in the beginning, where it makes ice into snow. So you just make coffee ice cubes. It's really brilliant. So let's do something savory. This is a pasta sauce that we're going to do. So again, really quick and easy. We've got our Parmesan cheese in there. We've got a little olive oil, a little basil, and a little bit of um, uh, red peppers, and also some tomatoes. This is how easy it is to make a sauce from scratch. And so again, you're doing low sugar, low salt. You control the ingredients. You can control the flavors and you can control the consistency. So you can hold it down if you want it to go a little bit longer, or you can pulse if you have some big ingredients that you want to chop through. So all of the, you know, controls in the palm of your hand, that's how easy it is to use. Yeah, and I absolutely love that little um, opening on the side, especially mm -hmm. if you're making salad dressing to you can pour more in stuff. The, the oil so yeah, yeah. You can pour. You can pour more stuff in there, uh, but look at the consistency of that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that red color from the roasted red peppers. And so I love that I can make pretty much anything that I want to make, you know, uh, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with my Ninja Storm. And it's super easy to use. It is dishwasher safe. I usually hand wash it though because I use it so often. I just give it a quick rinse um, and put a little soap in there and let the let the pod and the and the blades uh, help, help me clean it. Um, but it's really easy to use, really fun. And there's a hundred recipes in the cookbook. All right, I'm gonna go through the colors really quick. We have it in the black, the gray, and the cinnamon, and then the red, which is a little more like a cherry red, and then the navy, and then the aqua, you're getting the lid for storage in the fridge. You are also getting the cookbook, Rochelle. You said there was like 100 recipes. 100 recipes in the cookbook. 100 mm -hmm. recipes in the cookbook. Rochelle's going to be joining me at the end of the hour because she's got that amazing deal on a multi-cooker. But we're going to continue on. Yes? <laughs> so we're going to continue on.
if you if you would like to get the HSN card, we have a promotion where you save $10 off a single item purchase when you open and use the HSN card. Go to hsn.com and put an HSN card in the search or you can call the 800 number 1-800-695-1418. So, as we continue on shopping, um, one of the things, you know, we go to the grocery store, we want to get by eggs, milk, and everything, and they're like, would you like to buy a bag to put that in? I mean, or no plastic bags anymore. So we are, and it's also good for the environment to not like have those plastic bags we throw away, we throw away, throw away. But what kind of bag do you want? Do you, I, I'll tell you, for me, I want an insulated bag because sometimes I'll run to the grocery store and then I'll have one other errand to run before I go home and I don't want everything to be melted or ruined and you spend so much money on groceries. These are great to have. And it's from a company called West Loop and it's a two pack. They are leak proof as well, but we have Amy Garten here who's gonna come out. Hi, long time no see. Hi. Uh, and uh, to give us all the details of this. And uh, this is a two pack, right? You get two of them. You get two of them. These these totes are just absolutely phenomenal because you're getting two totes. It's an extra large tote and a large tote. So they are two different sizes, but they both hold up to 50 pounds. The extra large tote, you can put 50 cans in here. The large tote, 35 cans in there. They're leak proof. So no matter what you put on the inside, uh, it's leak proof or water resistant on the outside. Look at that Velcro kit. They're oh, hooking it to wow. their grocery cart. And then you can take it to the grocery store and uh, put all your stuff in it. It fits so much. I, I love the, the way they large. fold up in that little... Uh they, and they fold up so perfectly. You know, somebody dropped something somewhere. It's confusing. Uh, sorry. But it was not from these totes. These not totes will these hold totes everything. Will not. They and they are leak proof. So we've got the color choices, three color choices. I've got the gray plaid, which is the one I've got in front of me. I've got the leopard, which Amy is showing you. And then we also have the palm, which is down here. Um, I really love the insulation. That's my favorite part because, honestly, if you buy something like ice cream or frozen foods, I feel like it's like a, you know, Indianapolis 500 race to the house right. because they're not. And sometimes you want to, you know, pick up groceries on the way home from work and then you've got more of a drive to get home. Yes. So what these insulated totes are going to do. So, yeah, you see that insulation on the inside. They're going to keep all your cold foods colder and all your hot foods hotter. They're going to just keep them so nice and protected. Again, on the inside, that's leak proof on the inside. So I can put ice in here and use it as a cooler, which I'll show you. But I've got all my groceries and the outside outside is water resistant. The inside also has an antimicrobial, in, it's infused with a microban. So what that does is that it resists the odors, the smells, the growth of mold, bacteria, mm -hmm. mildew, all those things. But look at everything I can fit in here. It's like a clown car. You just keep taking stuff out. I just put my milk in. I can put all my frozen goods. And you said 50 to drive pounds? Me. 50 pounds each bag. This is the extra large. I've got the extra large that I'm filling back up with my groceries extra large but we also have the large size so in the extra large you can fit 50 cans the large you can fit 35 I want to show this to you so I've got the large right here mm -hmm. this is 35 cans not 50 cans only 35 look at all these cans they fit in the large add 15 more to make it 50 you'd fit that in the extra large but look at this you can use this as your cooler because again the inside is leak so you could take that for a picnic you could fill it up with ice and take it on the boat you could I mean this you would use these a lot now yep. what happens if you do spill something in it can you clean them so the inside is so easy to clean you just wipe it with a towel what I did here I want to show you so I've had this running I've got my timer down here I think it's like 14 almost 15 hours but I want to show you the temperature of my soda 30 two degrees in there and that is how this is what these totes are doing because they're insulated they keep your cold drinks colder your hot foods hotter they keep them protected and again I can do 35 cans in this large size wow. 50 in the extra large but yeah. look at that do all your grocery shopping um, take these to the grocery store. You can hook them to your grocery cart. Uh, we've got the Velcro on the side. Easy to wipe clean, water repellent on the outside. 
leak proof on the inside and again she's pouring that ice right in there so and there's no condensation i've had this bag filled with ice and look at that there's no condensation leaking on the bottom they fold up so i love that nicely. they fold up yes it, we've got them actually out here folded up and you know can you buy bags that cost less money you absolutely can it's just a matter of it's kind of like a way of life now is having these bags so i think we've all gotten like the ch the inexpensive ones you know cheaper and whatever but now we know that's going to be part of our everyday. We're going to like, you know, pony up that $15 each. I mean, it's not a lot of money, $15, but you really need to have like, first of all, I love this. Instead of a bag being like crumpled up, thrown up in the back of the seat to have it like look like this in, in your car so that you always have it ready. So handy. I, I think <laughs> that that, this is like a big difference between like the bags that I have kind of thrown in my car. Like, I really think that these are really nice and I love that they're insulated. So these are next level and really strong as well mm -hmm. these straps are strong so they're not going to break yes have you ever carried your groceries in a bag that broke on the way home right that's you, not going to happen with and this. you are getting two sets of straps so you've got the straps you can throw over your shoulder if you want i've got my velcro hooked here if you want to throw this over your shoulder to hang or we've got the two right in the center if you want to grab it by your hand right and we've got a pocket right there to throw your phone your keys anything like that in there but look at this i want to show how great this is so this is the extra large again I can keep all my hot foods if I'm going out to eat, my chicken, and I've got my big uh, taco casserole in here that I'm going to wow. take out. Now look at this. We talked about that antimicrobial uh, layer in there, mustard. Squeeze that on there. Now, what antimicrobial layer does is it prevents that odor, that smell. It um, it eliminates that growth of bacteria, the growth of mold and mildew, and then you can just wipe it clean. So easy to wipe clean, and it'll keep it nice and fresh for you. Just such a great use of it. I love it. Again, this is that extra large container, so I can put all my mm -hmm. hot foods in here, and it'll keep them all hotter longer. Just yeah. fantastic. Yeah, and again, this is really, really strong. So it's not something like, oh gosh, I'm going to carry it to the, and by the way, I love that it comes in leopard. <laughs> I love leopard is like, uh, I, I, you know, so you, this is, I think, a great gift for someone. And if you're the, you know, person who's been paying like five cents or 10 cents every time they give you a plastic bag. Oh my gosh, yes. And then you get home and you're like, I have all these plastic bags and you're like, this can't be good for the environment. You're right, it's not. So yeah. that's why everybody's kind of switching over to these. But as long as you're getting a bag get an insulated bag get one that can fold up get one that you know you can attach to the inside of your shopping cart with those little straps this has a lot of those things and you're getting two of them for this two. price too i love it you're getting two this is the extra large again it holds up to 50 pounds 50 cans inside the extra large this is the large again 50 pounds 35 cans yeah, so you've got it's two of those like 100 straps. pounds of groceries oh my gosh to, right yeah. straps to go over your shoulder that front pocket again you know, Florida, sometimes we have those sudden rainstorms. <laughs> yes, yes. But it's water repellent. So if you walk out to your, you know, your car, it's going to keep it safe. You go to the beach, mm. you go to like the football game or anything. Right, it's right. It's going to keep it nice and safe, water repellent. And again, the inside is leak proof. It's insulated, cold, colder, warm uh, for longer. And then it's got, again, um, infused with that microband. So we're not going to have the bacteria, the mold, the mildew, all those things, those nasty smells that tend to grow in there. Look well, how cute this is. Loop. So West Loop, they're just this fantastic brand that just creates great products for us for storage, for everyday use that just are, I feel like make your life easier and smarter. They're using your time smarter and wiser. I love that. Amy, thank you so much. Um, new and exclusive to us here at HSN. The item number is on your screen. It's 822-378. We do have five flex space, so it's $5.99. Free exchanges, so if you get a color home and you're like, I wish I got the other one, and also 30-day return policy on everything. Um, when you spend $75 on the day, you get free shipping handling on everything, but if you spend less than $75, it's flat rate shipping, $5.95. So, thank you. And if thank you're thinking you. about what you want to take in here on the go, I've got a weekly deal drop idea for you from August and Farms. So, weekly deal drop from August and Farms is, an, if you love Italian food, we have got the item for you. It is creamy fettuccine in a, in a pouch and Italiana Mariana, uh, uh, Mar what is wrong with me right now? 
you've got gorgeous red sauce, Italian red sauce, creamy chicken, uh, chicken and rice. So marinara sauce, that's the word I for some reason could not say. It is the weekly deal drop, but this is Augustin Farms. And one of my all time favorite products from Augustin Farms is their powdered milk. I know the price of milk goes up, but here's the other thing is, you ever go to have your morning cereal or coffee and the milk's gone bad? Powdered milk, every time we sell this, it flies out the door. So we do have the powdered milk back in stock. I just wanted to quickly mention that. It's $34.99. And Pat, do we have this on auto ship? Because sometimes we have these on auto. It is not on auto ship, but you can get a couple of them. I mean, it, is, it makes a lot of a 29 ounce can. You know, you, it's, you reconstitute with water and growing up, we, that's all we did was powdered milk. So I know that's their number one seller. We do have it back in stock, so I wanted to mention it. All right, we're gonna take a teeny little break. And when we come back, we've got the multi-cooker from Ninja and Rochelle's gonna be joining me again, so stay tuned. It's our biggest President's Day sale ever with dynamite deals on your favorite brands. Savor delicious seafood from Curtis Stone. Make your home a happy place with Beekman 1802. And upgrade your sleep with a new Beautyrest mattress. Plus, save up to 30% on thousands of items. It's the President's Day sale. It starts Friday at midnight here on HSN. Oh, I love that skillet. I wonder if it's not a stick, though. You don't have to wonder. I'll show you. Curtis Stone, what are you doing here? Proving it. Because at HSN, you don't just shop your favorite products, we demo them for you. Look at that. And our demos are online, so you can easily window shop anytime, anywhere. HSN.com. Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like VIP financing on so many items, plus extra flex on every item under $369, all day, every day, and at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard. Yeah, we're talking about this amazing multi-cooker. You know, I have a pressure cooker at home, which I love, but if I'm doing something like a beef stew, I've got to sear it on the stove and then put it in the pressure cooker. Not, not with this item from Ninja. You can sear in it and then pressure cook mm -hmm. and then take the insert out and put it in the oven up to 500 degrees if you want to melt some cheese on top or put breadcrumbs and make it cr you know crunchy and crispy. This is an amazing item that does so many things, replaces the need for a slow cooker, a steam oven, a food warmer, a nonstick pot, a saute pan, a cast iron skillet, a steamer, a stock pot, a Dutch oven, a roasting pan, a bread maker. Uh, it, it's really pretty amazing what this will do. So Rochelle Lucas is continuing on with us and she's gonna give us all the details. And does this, this comes in black and sea salt gray. It does, black it does. Black and sea it does salt so gray. It does so many different things. Uh, you know, it truly does kind of take over your kitchen and I love it because it makes cooking so easy. That's why we call it the possible cooking. I love that they even thought to include the spoon that rests right on the handle on top. So, you know, if you're entertaining, how many of you would have loved to have this this weekend for your big game parties? You know, you can pre-cook everything and have the spoon there so everybody can kind of serve themselves uh, as they're ready. So it yeah. keeps things hot, it keeps things cooked. But I love that you can sear and saute in here as you're building up your sauces. So we just did a chili here. So you can sear and saute, you know, your onions, your brown, uh, you know, brown your meats and then build it up so you have that much more flavor. And let me show you you how that works. So we did a beef stew, but I'm actually going to put this whole thing. Let me see if All I right. can. I don't even see. Here, here's the tongs. I was looking for tongs, but look <laughs> at how big this is. I'll be your assistant is. if you need anything. Oh, just absolutely, ask. <laughs> absolutely. So we're going to sear I'm this in here. I'm waiting to see this. I do you hear it. hear it? You hear that sizzle? That is the sound of flavor. So most um, slow cookers, they don't have the capacity to sear. You know, they, they slow cook. This is a slow cooker that will sear. And look at how non-stick it is, too, in the bottom. So it's getting that nice caramelization on the bottom, but it's not sticking. The pot itself is actually removable, so you can remove the pot to put it in your dishwasher, uh, but it is also oven safe up to 500 degrees. So let's say you want to put some toppings and stuff on here, you know, and crisp it up with a broiler, you could do that, too. Um, this is such a giant piece of... Uh, oh, my God. 
gosh. beef here. <laughs> I'm gonna see I if was I gonna say. It. I wanna show you, uh, there we it's go. Prehistoric. There we go. That is huge. So imagine having this for your big game party this past weekend. You don't wanna miss out on this for your future parties uh, throughout the year. But it does so many different things. So I'm gonna build this up. We're gonna also add all of our vegetables and our potatoes and our carrots. So, you know, I think people love slow, slow cooking because it makes the whole house smell wonderful. You know, you can set also, something up. Also, you can up. get a lesser priced cut of meat Absolutely. and make it taste delicious. That's why I like the slow cooking. Absolutely, because meat is so expensive right now, right? And so you can take those more inexpensive cuts of meat, make them more delicious, make them more tender. I'm gonna add a little bit of broth here and I'll just uh, move the lid over and kind of show you what we've been cooking on the other side here. So this is the lid. I'm just gonna switch with this one over on top of this one. So can you change it to slow cook or pressure? Yes. It doesn't pressure yes. cook, it's slow yes. cooker. It's a slow cooker, pressure cooker. I'm it is a pressure cooker. No, no, not pressure cooker. Pressure slow cooker, cooker uh, <laughs> no, I'm you know, yeah. uh, sear, saute, all of those things. And um, I'll actually go around the front. I can't see the front panel from this side, but I'll actually walk you through it when we pull out the mac and cheese. Yeah. But look at this meat. Look at how it seared it. That, all that nice brown, golden brown and delicious, that is what you get when you're able to sear things before you, um, you know, before you slow cook it. And so you're able to get all of that nice flavor. Look at how wonderful that looks with all of that. And the whole the house smells good when you've got this cooking all day long. But this, the, just, let me just tell you something. The fact that you can sear the meat in there yes. and then also slow cook it right there. I've never seen, a, and I've been here 15 years and we've presented a lot of stuff. I've never seen another appliance do that. Yeah, yeah. And I took one of uh, Julia Child's recipes for her for her beef stew and it, and it had all these multiple steps. You know, you got to sear it and then you've got to bring out extra pots and pans and then you have to slow cook it. Now you can do it all in one pot. And so let me walk over to this one so I can uh, scoot around to the side here and I'll walk you through the front panel Ooh, that and smells show so you all, doesn't it smell amazing? Mm, yes, it does. <laughs> so here are all the different things it can do. Um, of course, it's telling me add pot because I've got the pot in the oven there. I'm going to pull out to show you in a minute. But here are all your different functions. You have slow cook, sear and saute. It will also steam if you want to steam your vegetables and you are you are getting the um, roasting rack as well. So it's perfect for when you want to steam your vegetables. And then you also have, uh, you know, sous vide. Sous vide machines alone are really expensive. That's a great way to tenderize your meats. Braise, bake, and proof. So bake and proof if you're going to do your breads. I've got a focaccia I'm going to show you in a minute. That's amazing. So all of these different things, plus the keep warm function for when you're, you know, you're making a big pot of soup or stew and you're having uh, family over, you can just put it on keep warm and everybody can kind of serve themselves as they're coming in, you know, with different dinner times, different schedules and that sort of thing. So really it does so many different things and the pot comes out. So I'm going to go grab the pot. We actually have it in the oven. We did a beautiful mac and cheese. So we did the mac and cheese in the possible cooker and I got to tell you, it has that triple fusion heat. So you're getting heat from the sides and you're getting heat from the bottom. So it cooks 30% faster than your oven, but you have the option to bring it to your oven if you want to just broil some cheese on the top, you know, in three minutes <laughs> to get right, that nice right, right. crispiness on the top. Or put breadcrumbs and have bread crispy. Crumbs, yeah. All of those things. So yeah. I'm going to go get that mac and cheese okay. and we'll, we'll dig right into it because it's delicious. <laughs> all right. Now, five flex pay on everything. Free shipping and handling on this. If you want the sea salt gray this color, um, I only have 380 orders left. This is going very quickly. So this is going to sell up first, the sea salt gray. The other choice is the black, but 380 orders left. Look, look at that. Look at right this. Right from the oven. And that's right non-stick too. It's so easy cleanup. Absolutely. So I want to show you how the pot does lift up. It is very easy to clean up. Look at that. But look at how we were able to crisp up some of the uh, breadcrumbs on top of the mac and cheese. Um, so imagine doing this for your next get together. Any parties that you're having this year, any holiday. Do you hear that crisp, that crunch? Yeah, and also, I love it. <laughs> this, is, this is big, too. It is eight and a half quarts capacity. So, you know, whether you're doing a church function on Sundays or, you know, a, a, a Mother's Day party or a Sunday roast or just having your friends over for a barbecue. You can, you can just hand me that. You don't oh, have here to. you go. <laughs> I don't know why she's, I don't, know, I don't understand why she's putting it over there because oh, I'm standing right here. Yeah, so I love that you have that capacity. But again, you know, it's a slow oh, cooker nice and warm too. that will sear and crisp as well. And mm. so it's the possible oh, cooker. Oh, so good. It makes so many different things possible. It does come with a spoon, so you're seeing me use the spoon and ladle. Um, this one's full of mac and cheese, but I'll show you on one of the ones I haven't used yet. Here we go. It actually has like a little pour spout on one side and then also a little tooth on the other. So for when you're doing your pastas and stuff, so it does have those different functions as well on the spoon. Mm. Plus there's like a little notch on the bottom there, so it, it sits right into the handle and it won't fall off. It will kind of just stay there. So it, uh, right. You're just in heaven with that I'm mac sorry. and cheese. Shout out to Amanda from Culinary <laughs> who put together like 
20 meals like just today and then the <laughs> macaroni and cheese I'm telling you it tastes delicious and not just looks delicious for television she's amazing I'm she's gonna amazing. be <laughs> kind of eating this for the entire show now I know um, uh, <laughs> this is that's pretty amazing and you know I personally like to make a big amount and then have leftovers that I portion absolutely. out for lunch because I take my lunch to work every day so I love that it's eight quarts absolutely so that eight and a half quart mm. capacity is perfect when you're mm. just cooking for oh, you so and your good. husband and your and your batch cooking for the weekend or when you're entertaining you know you can bring this with you too if you were if you're going to you know a function at someone's house and, and everybody was bringing a dish imagine bringing this everybody's gonna be like what how did where did you buy that I want it I need one you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I love the I, I wish I could dig into the mac and cheese but I'm gonna go over to the pulled pork I'm sorry here. I feel like I'm leaving you. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm gonna set this down she's, and talk she's gonna <laughs> eat for the rest of the time mm. and I'm just gonna keep serving no, you no, food so, good. Uh, so again it's perfect for seared meat so you want to have that sear to get that flavor and so what we started here was with a big pork shoulder we seared it uh, to get that nice wonderful flavor and then we slow cooked it to have pulled pork for so we could do some pulled pork sandwiches but look at how this smells so good I, oh, I don't this I, does smell like good. I'm even being distracted from talking because I'm like <laughs> oh so my good. gosh it smells do you want me to so talk and you good. have a big bite of that I might I might I, might <laughs> I, need I, told, a, I got you girl I need I'm a totally. bin for this one though because it's so delicious and so juicy but again it is eight and a half quarts capacity it is that triple fusion heat so this is faster it's 30 percent faster than your uh than your traditional oven do you so know my mom uh working mom her whole career like my mom is a college professor my dad and mom are both college professors mm -hmm. three kids my mom did all the cooking she would cook on Sundays a lot and then we would have a lot of leftovers during the week so if you're somebody that is like busy or even if it's just you know we're empty nesters my husband and I but we still like when we cook we do like a, a big thing and then we portion it out and then put it in the fridge so lunch we just take out each of the container our anchor hocking and then I that's what I bring to work every day and then you know maybe I'll microwave it and warm it up so I love that you're able to do like a stew for the week or uh, you know what would be great in this is soup like oh, a big yeah. like a uh, pea split pea soup with like a ham in it like we would do I mean you could because you could slow cook it all day absolutely because those kind of hearty soups are amazing this time of year Absolutely. So now I'm going to just do some carrots and onions. You hear that sizzle in there? Oh, yeah. Oh, We've my got gosh. it on the sear and saute function. And I'm going to make a little pasta bolognese. So we're able to get those wonderful flavors that you get from searing and sauteing, but all in one pot. So See, I think of pasta bolognese as a very mm -hmm. complicated, difficult dish. Yeah, yeah. Because norm it's not. It's not. It's really just a little wine and some carrots and onions. And that's all the flavor, really. <laughs> and, and, and it would be lots of po different pots if you it didn't have this. It would be. It would be. Yeah. Especially if you wanted to slow cook it if you wanted to serve it to your family later if you wanted to mm -hmm. keep it warm for dinner if everybody's got different schedules um now you're able to do it all in one pot i love that you're the mac and cheese is I'm, making its way across I, everybody I'm, i can't <laughs> I, I missed it it was like calling to me it is so good it is so good so you know i love that i can cook all in one pot i can get that sear and saute in there i don't have to get multiple you know pots out i mean that's the whole point of slow cooking is you want to get your slow cooker out and and make a big meal for everybody but you don't want mm -hmm. a big you know sink of dishes at the end of the night. Uh, so I'm just building up the sauce here with the meats, with the uh, uh, carrots and onions. And once this browns up, I'll add the wine and I'll add the sauce and we'll have a perfect pasta sauce. I think you said marinara earlier. So like, <laughs> I said about three different, I said Mariana. Mariana. I said my, my brain wasn't, but you know, working for some reason. Oh uh, yeah, we've got to, you know, I, I love that it makes cooking easy. So it really. Yeah. And you know, when you say, okay, this is going to take up a little bit of counter space, but listen, there's about 10 things that you no longer need. Maybe you never have a slow cooker. You don't need that. Maybe you don't have a steam oven. You don't need that. Maybe you don't have a food warmer or nonstick pot or a Dutch oven or a roasting pan or a, I mean, it will replace so many different things mm -hmm. that you, this will be like central. And by the way, I have a friend who's like redoing their kitchen and then they're kind of living out of like a different, you could live out of this. They need this. They, they totally need this. Oh like my you goodness. could absolutely <laughs> just live out of this. Absolutely. So I'm going to let that, uh, you know, cook down a little bit. Of course, we're going to use that slow cook function. I'm going to add some more ingredients as we go, but I want to show you that it's a bread maker too. So you talked about the 14 different functions. Mm -hmm. You know, of course it's got the functions on the, uh, you know, that you can do with a sear, saute, slow cook, uh, sous vide, make bread and proof. Um, but you know, it really replaces so many different things 
because of how convenient wait, wait, it is. Wait, wait, you can proof in this? You can proof in this, which is important when you want, you know, you're looking for a hot spot in your kitchen with a little bit of humidity. Sometimes we don't have that in the wintertime yeah. if you're up north. Um, sometimes it's too humid in Florida. Right, right. But look at how this focaccia came out. Look at how beautiful this bread came out. So I'm just going to try and lift it here from the side. Is it cool? It is cool to the touch. So I'm just going to uh, lift it out with my hands here so you can see. Look at that golden brown and deliciousness. Look at how perfectly that is crisp. Look at how non-stick it is. So fresh homemade bread in your possible cooker. I mean, can can your slow cooker at home do that? No. <laughs> so I love that you can also bake breads in here. It makes the house smell wonderful. Of course, nothing tastes as good as fresh baked bread, um, but you can proof it and bake it all in one pot. What about some of these recipes? Are these online or? They on are, they are. So you can go to ninjakitchen.com. There's tons of recipes uh, for, for all of the Ninja appliances, of course. And then you also have a recipe book. Uh, we've got one around here, I know. Uh, I see it. has got tons of recipes I'm gonna go in grab it. it. So, um, most of the things we're making today are included in the recipe book. We like to show you uh, when we're on air all the oh, things that I you see. can do. And, the, and what you just made is in there. Uh, what we just made in there. The focaccia is in yeah. there. Ooh, uh, minestrone soup. Mm, so good. I, that's why I, I said this would be great for soups where you have like some, because I like heartier. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to show you some of these pictures. Butternut squash and risotto and... Look at that. I like the photos. Making everybody hungry. <laughs> it makes everybody hungry. I know, doesn't sorry. It? <laughs> I'm trying to find like more of these really pretty pictures of there's the simple focaccia that we just made right right here. Upside down backwards, right there. Focaccia. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And usually in the front, there's two Kickstarter recipes, and those are when you first get it at home and you take it out of the box and you're thinking, what do I want to make first? Right. You can always go uh, use the recipe book to kind of get started and, and to give you, give you some inspiration. Egg frittata and mm. hash browns with bacon. So good, so there good. There you go. And also it says, like right at the front, it says slow cooker, sear, saute, steam, keep warm, sous vide. Sous vide. What, mm -hmm. we didn't even mention that one. I know, Braise, I know. bake, and proof. A All sous vide, so how you could put it in a temperature, water, yeah. and then put something in a bag and drop it in? Yeah, oh. yeah, so basically you'd, you'd get the bags, what? and you, and a, a lot of people like to do their meats that way because mm -hmm. it really tenderizes them and makes them oh, juicy and delicious. My husband does that, and yeah. then he finishes it off on the grill. Yeah, 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 so usually it's a, it's a way of slow cooking, but you yeah, would boil no. the water and you'd put the bag in there. So these are all the different functions. I just want to show you again, this is actually counting down for the uh, pasta sauce that we're making. But look, it also, it slow cooks, of course, but sears and sautés, not a lot of slow cookers can do that, where you want to build up your flavor by, you know, searing and sautéing your meats before you start slow cooking it. We also have steam, so if you want to do your steamed vegetables, we'll have to show you, you're, you're getting the roasting rack with it as well, and the roasting rack is perfect for steaming vegetables or doing your meats. It also has keep warm, um, sous vide, braise, bake, and proof. Uh, so all of these different functions really help you um, make it possible to cook, you know, a great meal for your family. That's why we call it the possible cooker, is it, it makes anything possible that you want to cook. <laughs> my, and my producer wants to know if people know what proofing is. Is. Proofing, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you I watch a lot of the British baking shows, so I know. Uh, go <laughs> I ahead, know, right? tell us about the British baking uh, shows. Well, before you bake bread, you yeah. proof it. It's basically rising and letting yes. the yeast work, right? Yes. That, so you, it, it's not like putting the oven. It's just kind of getting it warm, like you cover it. You want it, it to get kinda, You want it to get big, higher, and then you can, you can like ro roll it out, and yeah. but it, it, it's a step in bre bread baking that you know that you need to do for certain kinds of breads. Yes, yes. So, and, and you'll see a fancy, super high-end kitchen will have something called a proofing drawer where you put in the dough and you close the drawer. And put that, so that's something in a very high-end, expensive, like Michelin star restaurant, you're getting a proofer in there. Yes. So, I mean, that is and something. And you can proof yeah. and bake all in one pot. And so right. it's really oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can proof it and then go right to baking in this. So this is amazing. Yeah. By the way, the sea salt gray is the most limited. This is very, very popular. Um, uh, there's 321 left, and then the rest of the quantity is in the black. So this is sea salt gray. It's almost like a blue gray, I think. It is. It is. It's a beautiful, yeah, a blue gray is a great way to describe it. So I'm just going to stir the meats around in here. Again, we have that sear saute function, so we're building up those flavors before we do our pasta sauce. So, you know, I love that I can do that. I can love that I have that sear saute function. So even if you've got a camper, or even, like you said, your friends that are renovating their kitchen and they don't have a cooktop, this, right. can, this can be your cooktop. This can be your oven. 
It does uh, cook 30% faster than a traditional oven because of that triple fusion heat. So it's heating it from not just the bottom, from but also from the sides. And then when you put the uh, lid on the top, it's also steaming it as well. So that triple fusion heat really helps things cook faster, uh, really seals in those flavors. And of course that sear saute function uh, essentially turns it into a cooktop right on your countertop. And do, you, so, do you happen to know what the wattage is on this? I think it's about 1,700 watts. 17, 1760, 1750, something like that. Yeah, that's um, a lot of power. It's a lot of power. Of course, you can just plug it into your regular outlet in your yes. kitchen. Yeah, uh, yeah, yes, we should mention that. <laughs> regular appliance and plug it right in. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, because I'm noticing, by, by the way, the other thing I'm noticing is when I'm cooking like this, usually in a saute pan on the stove, mm -hmm. uh, about 20% of it flies out that's and true. gets my stove all dirty. <laughs> but I'm watching her and I'm like, this because this is deep in there and she's stirring it, there's no mess. Splatter. Like you're not making any any splatter or mess and then when you add all those ingredients yeah. it's not like things are like uh oh I gotta stir it and have it keep in there it's so deep in the well there. especially when you're making this kind of volume of food right so if you're meal prepping for the week if it's just the two of you or if you're cooking for your family or friends for an event or for a get-together we know when you're cooking this volume of food you don't want it to splatter and you also want to be able to do it all in one pot so you don't have a lot of dishes in the sink but also it's really lightweight this is pretty warm I think from because uh, since we're cooking there but I just want to show you too how light weight it is you know because this reminds me of like a dutch oven yes but dutch ovens can be so heavy you know you don't want to ding your countertops you don't want to you know this is super lightweight i mean this is full of is food. it aluminum or stainless it's stainless or steel it's stainless okay. steel and then of course it's a painted and it's also has the uh, non-stick coating on the inside that uh, ninja is famous for so it is non-stick but i just love how lightweight it is as well it's, it's yelling at me it's saying add pot <laughs> <laughs> but, you know uh, you have removed me that uh, is yeah, not yeah, how you make it, a bowl it, it's so smart it's <laughs> like add pot so it's really doing a lot of the cooking uh -huh. and the thinking for you. But I love that I can... Uh, I really do need that, Rochelle. <laughs> <laughs> I need somebody to... I can do all the eating, but I need somebody to do the cooking and thinking for sure. Here are the 14 tools that replaces Rochelle. This okay. is impressive. And is slow cooker, your steam oven, uh, food warmer, your uh, nonstick pot, your uh, pans, your cast iron skillet, because you can use it to, remember that huge piece of steak that I added? So you can use it to sear, um, even your saucier, your steamer, a saucepan, a stock pot, Dutch oven, roasting pan, your bread maker, and your integrated spoon, uh, of course has two different functions as well because it has the little teeth on the one side like your pasta spoon, but it also has like a little portion spout on one side for when you're doing your sauces so it really does so many things I love that they even thought to include you know a little uh not like little notch here so it sits right on the lid and it doesn't fall off like normally if you were to try to do this you know uh, on a normal pan it would kind of fall off and and you know or it'd be on the countertop it's right where you need it and so has this been on air before just once just, just well, I was once. gonna say because I've never presented this before yes. and I haven't even heard of this product so it's only been on air one other time was it with Shannon oh uh, I, I I think it was with Shannon. Yeah, yes, because I saw, yeah, it was, ooh, is that like dumpling this soup? This is ooh. chicken dumpling soup. This smells, oh, again, everything that smells so, so good. good. Uh, I need to eat before coming on here <laughs> next time because I, I really <laughs> am like, I'm drooling here. Um, but yeah, so for soups, for stews, for, you know, cooking for a party or even just doing meal prep for one, this is perfect because it's going to make cooking fun. It's going to make it easy. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to be able to do it all in one pot. The cleanup is easy. Of course, it goes in the, the pot goes into the dishwasher as well as the lid and the spoon. And then, like, let's say you all have different schedules in your family. Everybody comes and serves themselves. So then you can put the keep warm function on. Yeah. And then put the lid on, put the spoon right on top, and then everybody can serve themselves. And the spoon matches the color, by the way. So if you're doing a... a but also, you know, if you think about it, if you're invited to a dinner party and, like, yes. I'm, well, I'm going to bring the side, you make, like, a risotto, it's, you can just, like, lift this up, and then it looks so pretty to bring over to somebody's house and serve. But it you does. certainly couldn't do that with any other kind of pressure cooker or something like that. The insert isn't pretty at all it's not really but this exactly. is something that is you know like right from the, here to the table exactly. which obviously if it's warm you'd put something down on the table to make sure you don't <laughs> burn your table but yeah but you're right you know you it's could always if you're bringing this to a party you could always pre-make that mac and cheese that you love mm -hmm. so much and then um you know crisp it up at the top but then when you get to the party you need to reheat it right and yeah. then if everybody's bringing their dish you know, there's not enough room in the oven everybody always thinks oh, i need an extra stove top i need an extra oven then you can bring your possible cooker and then you can do you know you can put the keep warm function 
option on and warm it up for everybody to, you know, have their own. So here we've done a uh, broccoli cheddar soup. It is still soup season. I know it even cooled off here in Florida for a bit. Yeah, um, well, I was going to say, this to me seems like genius for soup. Oh, absolutely. I absolutely. love that because, you know, a lot of soup you start with like maybe even, a, you know, like a stock where you're sauteing the onions and the carrots before mm -hmm. you do like the, you know, potatoes or like whatever kind of soup you're doing, some hearty soup that yeah. I love that. And you can just let it sit. And at eight quarts, this is a, this is eight, big. Eight and a half eight, quart capacity. Yeah. And what I love about making homemade soups, Helen, too, is you can get to control the ingredients. And so I don't know if you've ever looked at the sodium in some canned soups. You know, we're starting to watch that. My husband and I are starting to watch that a little bit yeah. because the sodium is so high. Like it's your whole day's worth of sodium in one little canned soup. You can control your salt. You can control your sugar. When you're making homemade soups at home, uh, there's nothing in here that you can't pronounce because there's no extra, you know, like preservatives mm -hmm. or, or odd ingredients. And so you really get to control uh, what you're eating and what you're feeding your family. And that's what I really love about being able to do my homemade soups uh, and stews at home is that I can control the salt and the sugar in them. And plus they taste better. You know, when you're building up that flavor with that sear saute function and you're, you know, you're uh, sauteing the onions, it tastes so good. By the way, we're shipping this free. I just want to mention that. It's free shipping and handling no matter, you know, from you know, Cleveland, Ohio, to New York City, to Texas, to California, wherever you live, we will ship this to you for free. When you spend $75 or more, you get free shipping and handling on all your orders. This is over $75, so not only is it free to ship this, when you buy the Ninja Foodie um, cooker, multi-purpose cooker, you get free shipping and handling on your all your orders. So even if you ordered something five hours ago today, and then it, it said, it, it, you know, you're like, okay, I have that flat rate shipping of $5.95 for all my orders, $75 or under, it would go to, would go back and take that shipping off of it and make it zero retroactively earlier in the day because it's free to ship. We actually launched this at midnight, so I'm explaining about the shipping a lot. So if you spend $75 or more, free shipping handling on everything, but if you spent less than $75, we're doing flat rate shipping, $5.95 on everything. So I wanted to mention that, but free shipping and handling on an item like this, let's be honest, if you order it and bring it to your house and then want to ship it to your mom, don't do that. Let us ship it to your mom. Because it's probably exactly. going to cost you $40, $50 to ship it if you go down to like UPS or something. Exactly. So we will ship it anywhere in the country for free. And it's $26 on FlexPay. So get it home for $26. By the way, if you don't love it, you can return it. You have 30 days. But I think this is really, I mean, I love that insert. Even yeah. if you're like, okay, you know what? I need a big pot because I'm going to do a giant lasagna or something. You could do a whole you, chicken. You, you could do a roasted chicken in this. Mm -hmm. This is, you will use this over and over and over again just for using it as your roasting pot but then you know you use it to sear and then you also have a slow cooker and then a steamer how does the steamer function work the steamer function works uh of course you just turn it to the steam function but let me show you the roasting pan oh, yeah. we've got, i, I want to do dessert but i'm going to lose you when we have dessert because it's so good okay. that i know that you're going to you're going to want to dig in so let's go over all the stuff that we made and then i'll scoop okay. out some dessert because I, right. I have to admit like that was the one thing i just, couldn't just to be just to be helpful i'll hold the macaroni there you cheese. go there you go just okay, to help so, out just, I'm so just helping out so this is the roaster uh roasting rack that comes with it and this i have not seen in stores and so you are getting this roasting rack that you can use on two different levels. So you can use it uh, in this direction or you can use it in this direction. Uh, so if you wanted to do some steamed vegetables, of course, you'd put some water at the bottom and then put your uh, seasoned vegetables on the Does top. Does that come with it? This comes with oh, it. Oh, it comes with this it? This comes with oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're getting this too. Um, but then, of course, if you want to do your roasted meats and you don't want to do a soup or stew, but you wanted to just roast the meat, you could flip it around this way and then it's easy to lift the meat out of the pot and then you're getting that, you know, that nice and golden brown crispy delicious all around the meat mm. and then all the fat is falling to the bottom so you're not getting the fat on your meats and so this is wonderful like I love using this at home it's a great extra tool you know for cooking for steaming for sauteing for doing your big pork roast as well um, so here's all the stuff that we've made so far okay. so we did some we did eight and a half quarts of chili uh, the spoon and the you know, of course it's right on top of the lid so if you have family mm -hmm. members with different schedules and they're coming home at different times they could always come home and, and serve themselves but it's also great for entertaining and great for a party we uh, started up a stew so let me show you how this is doing. This is mm. boiling already. Look at how this is cooking. So we're slow cooking our meats here. We're going to turn the temperature down here, but we've got our whole big piece of steak there, all of our 
our potatoes and our broth all cooking. Uh, again, you know, you can use that slow cooker and have it slow roasted all day. So what you can... By, by the way, that's the sea salt gray and we have 223 left. Oh, wow. So that's a popular it's color. It's very popular <laughs> and with the rest of the quantities in the black, but they're much limited on that. So this is what that stew will look like after, you know, after a couple hours of, of mm. slow cooking is look at how wonderful this looks. Look wow. at how the meat is because the meat and the meat able got to get, seared. The meat yep. got seared. So it had that nice caramelization on there. And so I love that I can do that sear saute function even with it as a slow cooker because I'm able to seal in all those flavors and get those wonderful, delicious mm. flavors. This smells so good, you guys. I really wish you could smell it. But um, I love I that I... I the macaroni and cheese. This is the <laughs> gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> of course, we did the macaroni and cheese that you love. Um, I took this out of the <laughs> oven. So the pot is oven safe up to 500 degrees. The uh, uh, possible cooker itself is faster than your oven. So you're going to want to cook in the possible cooker because it has that triple fusion heat where it's heating from the side and it's heating from the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that triple fusion heat is going to make this cook 30% faster than your oven. You would only want to put this in the oven if you want to crisp something up on the top, like with your right. broiler for five minutes. Um, of course, you can use it in the oven. If you need an extra pot, you can use it. It is oven safe up to 500 degrees, but your possible cooker is going to cook things faster than your oven. You can cook a whole roast chicken in here 30% faster than your, than your big mm. oven. We also did some pulled pork sliders here. So we, again, uh, seared, seared and uh, sauteed the meat with the onions and then let it slow cook so it was pull apart just like this and so you know where the where it's just like what you'd have in your restaurant and like you said earlier I love that you're able to do the uh, you know get cheaper cuts of meat and yeah. make them tender by slow cooking them so you can save some money that way too by you know looking for meats that are on sale or, or getting those cuts that are not I as think expensive. all the crew's getting hungry too I'm getting I know I know there I, I see them all coming in everybody's getting hungry we started I'm our, getting requests uh, <laughs> the director wants the beef stew by the, the way. beef stew absolutely <laughs> all right so here is our uh, pasta sauce that we've been working on. So let me go ahead and add the bolognese. The bolognese. The bolognese. All right. I'm going to add some more of the ingredients here. So we also have the marinara sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It I'm seems like an easy word to say for some reason. I yeah. Panicked. So yeah. I'm going to add marinara the marinara sauce. sauce. And, I'm, and just for time, I'm just going to add some pre-cooked pasta. But of course, you could cook pasta from, from raw in here as well. But look at this. Eight and a half quart capacity for pasta and I can put it on the keep warm function and have everybody kind of serve themselves at, you know, at their leisure whenever they get home. There's so much pasta in here. Um, I'm gonna uh, scoop that up with the spoon. Of course, the spoon comes with it too, um, but look at how much capacity is in here. And just like you said earlier, I, you know, I'm not getting all this mess on my pink shirt today. <laughs> right, it's well, I'm noticing the pot. that. Because usually like you saute something and you've got a big pot of something that's eight and a half quarts, it's like gonna go all over the oven. You're not making a mess anywhere when you're when you're creating these amazing dishes. This is a multi cooker, and by the way, we've got five flex pan on everything right now. It's 5 p.m. over here on the East Coast. That ends tonight at midnight, so a few more hours of that. It's East Coast time, 9 p.m. West Coast time. The five flex pay ends, so it's on sale. It's free shipping and $26 to get home. The Ninja Foodie Pro Multi Cooker. It's only the second time we've ever had it on air. That really really pretty sea salt color. It's kind of like a blue gray. That's the most limited below 200 available now. Oh my goodness, it's so a popular color. To, yeah, very popular. And then we have it in black as well. But, um, oh my gosh. And Doesn't this look amazing? You know, when I think about, the, you know, when the kids all come home from school at different times and, mm -hmm. they, you know, dinner is like at six, seven, and eight, depending on who gets out of soccer, lacrosse, or track, or, yeah. you know, uh, I think football season may be uh, over, really over. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm just saying that, uh, you know, it, it really is, it really is great for you know a family that has like a different eating time which I know lots of families do. I promised you dessert and what I love yes. about it too is the, you know I like, have set down the macaroni and cheese. <laughs> but what, what I love about slow cooking too is dinner's done you know in the morning if you put all of your ingredients in there at the end of the day you're like oh my goodness what's for dinner? Dinner is already made so I love that I can oh this looks so good. I love that I can set it and forget it. Is and that then, like a cobbler? This is a cobbler that we mm. slow cooked in here. I, I mean look at the berries in here. Can you see the berries in here? Look at how this this just smells amazing. And then we just crisped up some oatmeal and some crumble on the top um, in the oven just for about five minutes just to have that nice crispy crust. But if you want to try that, it is piping hot, but Ooh. it is delicious. A scoop okay. of ice cream and this is mwah, chef's kiss. It's so, so good. Here's a spoon. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I might need to, I could just lean <laughs> and in it at is this hot. point because every, America's watched me so eat this. I know, I know we've done a lot of savory things, but you can do your desserts super hot. as well. You can do uh, cobblers, mm. peach cobblers, berry cobblers. Um, I, I love a cobbler. I love it. Me and too. Again, this is I, this is really like a vegetable. 
<laughs> it, it's a fruit. It's not really like a dessert. It's, it's like, a yeah, fruit. It's you know, it's a fruit. It's it's a totally, fruit it totally counts as a, a, a fruit. Beautiful. So um, We've got le just about two minutes left in the show. Two minutes left in the show. So I would love to show that um, still again, that all the 14 different things that this, you know, you're if you want to get a steamer, okay. If you want to get, you know, I would actually add rice cooker to this because oh, I think yeah. this would be a really good rice cooker. Absolutely. Um, if Because I do like a thing of rice at the beginning of the week and then I kind of portion it out with like some protein yeah. and vegetables for lunches all week. It would be great for that. It's nonstick. You could take it and use it as your roasting pan. Uh, you can use it as your Dutch oven, your stock pot. It's a bread maker. It is a slow cooker, but it is also a brazer. So when you get that, you know, maybe you want to do like a brisket. Brisket right, would be perfect. But yeah, perfect yeah. for this. So you you want to sear it first before you slow cook it to make it like a. It's a less expensive cut of meat to make it tender. You can sear it in here. It actually sears in here. Gets hot enough to sear, and then you put it on the slow cook mode, and then just let it like cook all day long, and the whole house will smell amazing. And I I also love the slow cooking because there's no effort. You put the ingredients on, and you push slow cook. Slow cook. You can't burn it. You can't overcook it. You know it's. It it really is. It's kind of goof proof. Mm -hmm. It's really easy. It's, yeah. really, it's really easy. It's really fun. I think you're going to really enjoy it once you get it home. Um, I've never seen a slow cooker where you can also sear and saute and have the pot be oven safe up to 500 degrees. It's perfect for parties. We're going to, I mean, we're going to have, you know, it's, it's just 100, February. 150 so left in the sea salt gray. Oh my goodness. Only 150 orders. So, so very, very limited. Very yeah. limited. All right. Well, happy Valentine's Day, Rochelle. Thank you so Thank much. You. Happy Valentine's Day, America. Um, keep shopping for this. The item number is 820216 if you would like to grab this from Ninja. So delicious. And we all like love to have that delicious hot food ready uh, when we come home from work. Or if, you know, when everyone comes home at different times, I love that we're doing this very, very popular. Keep shopping. But we're going to continue on with wonderful live programming here. I see Suzanne is standing by, and she's with Rhonda Shear, and it's actually going to be the final presentation of our Today Special already. That was quick. I like the groovy Valentine music. I'm not sure where that's supposed to be, but it's kind of cool. Hey, I am Suzanne Runyon, and welcome. Why am I moving and grooving so easily? Because I am completely decked out in fabulous Rhonda Shear. We love Rhonda. She started out in Hollywood many, many moons ago. She had to be stuffed and pushed and curred and and into clothing that she didn't like. She said, you know what? I can do so much better. And she's literally changed and revolutionized the entire intimates industry. All right, let me give you a sneak peek first off. This is something you'll never want to take off. This fabric is so comfortable. It is so darn cute. You literally